Greetings. If you have a Insignia Fire TV that is no longer connecting to the Wi-Fi network, I'm here to help you with this problem. This particular model is the F20 series, but it'll work with any Fire TV, uh, not just the F20 or even Insignia. It'll work with any Fire TV. So first thing I want you to do is go to your Wi-Fi connection, and what you want to do is go to the little gear shift right here, and we're going to make sure that you're connected. And then we'll go all the way to the right to where it says ne network. And this is my network here, CenturyLink. Make sure that that's your, uh, your network. Make sure that, that it says connected. And, and just basically enter there and make sure it's connected. Now, if it is connected and you're not able to get to the internet, I want you to go to the router which mine is over here, and check to see if other devices work on that router. So in your home, let's say you have a, uh, a laptop or a phone also connected, see if those are connecting. If they're not connecting for whatever reason, then the issue is not with your insignia. So what I want you to do is reset the router. One quick way to do it is just to unplug it from the wall or unplug all the wires. Give it about three minutes plug everything back in, and then see if your devices, like your insignia, can connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, next thing I want you to do is, if that does not work, what I want you to do is do a little power cycle. And to do a power cycle, what you wanna do is unplug it, the insignia TV from the wall, and that does a small reset. And what I want you to do with that is give that about five minutes, plug it back in, and then see if it works. All right, if that doesn't work, what I need you to do is go back uh, to your Wi-Fi. So I want you to go all the way to the gear shift again, go back to network, and then choose the network that you're connected to. And what I want you to do is to forget the network. And to do, forget the network, you just hit these three little dots, three lines, and that will forget it. Then it'll forget all the information. And then what I want you to do is actually unplug it again, give it about a minute or two, plug it back in, then go back here to your networks. And then I want you to, it'll locate your network again, and then go ahead and put in your password and all that. Keep in mind, you will have to re-put in the password. Passwords for the Wi-Fi is usually on the back of the Wi-Fi server, usually, unless someone changes it. All right, if you've tried that and that doesn't work, let's go ahead and back up. We're going to go back to settings like we were before, where you go to that little gear shift, and then you want to go all the way down to where it says device and software, click enter. And then what I want you to do is go all the way down here and click uh, reset to factory default. Now what that's going to do is that's going to put it back to in the, in the box state when you bought it. So it's going to delete all your apps, all your personal information, and like it's out of the box. But before you do that, make sure that your device, your Insignia TV, is close enough to the router. So, for example, this room has a firewall because I got the door closed. And let's say my TV is not in this room with my server, but it's upstairs or if it's downstairs. Um, if that's the case, it might be that it's not reaching for whatever reason. So what you can do is you can get like a little antenna service, like a booster, for example. Um, there's a booster down there, and you could put those in different rooms. So maybe it's just not reaching. You might have too many devices on the network right now. So let's say you have family members that are watching Netflix and different TV shows, and it could be overwhelming broadband-wise on the, on the server. It might just be too much on it. Have everybody disconnect temporarily, and then see if you're able to connect your insignia. And then you know it's not an issue with your TV. It's just an issue with this just being too much, uh, too much, too many people on the server. All right, and then, like I said, finally, you could do a reset to factory and see if that will work. It should work, um, especially if um, your server is working. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.